good runner or just do basic cardio because you have to, we could all benefit from something called improving our running mechanics. Joining me now is Rebecca Benyon from Tosh. And first of all, let's talk about what that term means. What is running mechanics actually referring to? It's the way that you run and the form and technique that you use. Okay, so it's basically that form and it requires training sometimes because we don't all do it naturally. Yeah, and we think that we do because we all grow up running around on the playground. We see kids running around, but in order to do it safely and decrease our risk of injury, there's ways to do it correctly. Yeah. Oh it's my gosh. Skills movement. I could have benefited so much from this. I mean, in high school, I mm -hmm. ran all the time, so many miles a day, and I messed up my knees because I wasn't doing it right. Yeah. And a lot of people will say, oh, you shouldn't run because it does hurt the knees or it hurts the low back. But if you're doing it correctly, you can run and run. I like it. Problems. Good. Well, let's talk about some of the things that we can all be doing or at least paying attention to um, as far as these running mechanics. Number one, you say develop a good stride. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so developing a good stride is opening your stride angle. So you want to be nice and open and um, so that everything else in the gait cycle falls into place. When you say open, what are you referring to? Your upper body or So your... upper body is going to be nice and tall. We want to okay. make sure that the hands aren't crossing the midline of the body because that's extra rotation okay. that hurts. And then we want a good knee drive. Our heels should be kicking up towards our butt. Um, and those things help open us up and keep us efficient. Yes. Okay, number two, you also say um, learning how to just correct inefficiencies. So this is referring to... Uh, looking at your own personal form, right? And yeah. some of those issues you might be making. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we mentioned upper body mm -hmm. and that crossing over. That's one of the best things that you can think about because that's a very inefficient movement. So if you can just not let your hands cross the midline, you're already making yourself more efficient. Um, I'm going to stand up. And, and I want you to explain what that means. When you say okay. not letting your hands cross the midline, what is that? What do you mean by so that? So imagine you have a zipper on your shirt or okay. you're buttoned up yes. there. As you're running through, the hands should not cross that this zipper. Way. So they're going to come I up see. towards your chin so they go this and in the way. back, but you're not going to cross. So, here. and my mom always says that this way, but never this way. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Because okay. then you're rotating and twisting. Oh, good. So good. And we're know. trying to go straight. Yes. Not right? side to side. I Eye on the prize. Okay. <laughs> while we're standing, you also have have some stretching and you say it's important to strengthen our muscles and stretch. Yes. Yeah. A lot of us aren't doing that. I have, I'm one of those people who uh, just yeah. likes to run. And most runners do. They want to put on the shoes. They want to get the miles in. But we need the strength and the flexibility. Um, I'm going to start with the hip flexors. Okay. These are really important muscles while we run. Um, so first of all, I'm going to do a strength exercise for you. Okay. And I like this one because it does our balance, which is going to get the core. Yes. Works those muscles. So right. I'm going to have you just stand on one leg. Okay. Try not to hold if you cannot. Okay. And then we're just going to pulse your leg. Oh, boy. Yeah, up and down definitely here. definitely testing my balance here. Okay, so we're going to do, you do this for about 20 seconds, and okay. then you're going to lift your knee up to hip height, and you'll pulse it here. Okay. Okay. And That's your hip flexor. Yes. Uh -huh. And you're going to notice that other leg's working, too. <laughs> do this for about 20 seconds, and then we kick out. Kick it out. And Whoa. you can see how after doing this for a little while, this side, the hip flexor is working. This one, you're working those abductors, glutes, everything that's stabilizing, so it's working that balance as yes. well. Yes. Oh and my of gosh, I'm starting cord. to feel it. <laughs> yeah. So if you do those about 20 seconds on each side without rest between, you'll definitely feel it. Okay. You also said um, calf raisers. What is that? Just a basic that's calf just the basic, stretch here. And that's important to do. Why? Um, so I like calf raisers because we, go, we push off and use those calves quite a bit, and when we run, we also, a lot of people get the shin splints and issues in that lower leg, and the calf raisers help with all of those. Oh, good. Issues. So this is just really scratching the surface to give everybody just a little bit of a taste of Tosh Running's program, um, Tosh's running program, I should say. We're going to post all this information on our website, but there it is right there on your screen. They do everything um, from coaching personally, one-on-one, -on -one, to online, to clinics, even sports nutrition counseling and supplemental oxygen training. We're going to explain everything on our website. So everybody go there, check it out. And you can also email them at toshrunning at email.org. Yeah. And that's with questions or even to register, right? Yep. Yep. So any questions or anything, that will come right to me and I'll help however I can. I love it. Rebecca, thank you so much for coming. Thank you.